I'm Jeanette Keynes from Jewelry Arts Inc. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to bezel set a pear-shaped opal with a little glue for a little extra protection. I'll show you how to do it beautifully and safely to show off your opal. All right, so now we're ready to go on to the next step. The opal has been deliciously juicified and shined up, so it looks all beautiful. Uh, and we've got our bezel ready. So what we did on the inside, I know we've talked about this in other videos, um, I like to use black electrical tape. It is like the go-to thing for opals, anything with like a blue in it, like um, Moonstone can be really nice with it. Um, what do you call it? Chalcedony can be great with it. So usually I just sort of put it on a piece of silver, put it on a piece of black and just see what looks better. Now also, you see how this stone has a cute little tummy? A lot of cabochons have that, it's very common. Now, when you have a stone like that, you have to put like a little inner bezel or wire on the inside. Otherwise, the tummy acts like a seesaw, you know, like you'll, you'll set and it'll just keep rocking back and forth. So we put like, a, I think an 18 gauge wire in on the inside and sanded it down a little bit. And that's just gonna act like a girdle, <laughs> keep the tummy up off the bottom. Um, and like I said, that happens with cabochons really commonly. So it's one of those things like it's, no big deal at all to deal with it. The only problem is if you don't pay attention to the fact that it's happening and then you try to set it and you're like, why does it keep wiggling? Now, another thing that we're about to show, um, sometimes when we set opals, we use a little bit of glue and like everyone out there is going like, <laughs> we don't use glue because we're not gonna set our stuff. We use glue when we feel like maybe it's a little questionable that just setting alone is gonna hold it. Now, this bezel is really maybe slightly lower than we really want it to be considering the little tummy and the curve on the side. It doesn't, it has like, it's kind of high on the sides. So if, if it were me in a perfect world, like I'd have that down in there just a little lower. But that's all the bezel we have. And we can't get rid of that inner wire because if we do, we're gonna have rocking. Now we're gonna be 100% fine. This is not you know, cause for alarm. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a little bit of glue and then set, and that's going to guarantee that our stone is in and it's held nice and strong. We don't have to worry about it popping out, okay? Now, the thing about using glue though, people always think like, I'll put in glue, I'll put it on the bottom, right? Eh, don't do that. If you put glue and stick it on the bottom, you can see it through your stone and it looks terrible. Also the bottom a lot of times is just maybe smooth and shiny and like you're not getting a great connection. What we're gonna do instead is we're gonna use the trusty toothpick and we're gonna put a few tiny little dots of glue on the side of the bezel where the stone will be right up against there. So basically we put tiny little dots of glue and we set immediately. You don't wanna let the glue dry before you finish setting. Because what'll happen then, the glue can actually hold the bezel away from the stone, which is not what we want. So once, that's why I'm giving you my whole long explanation now, because when I'm actually doing this, I'm just gonna be like You know what I mean? It has to happen relatively fast. Um, and another thing like, the glue dries pretty quickly. So what, what we use, by the way, this is five minute epoxy. It holds really, really well. We use it for pretty much anything in the studio, like when we have, you know, sometimes we glue terminations on, or if like pearls, you know what I mean? That's our go-to stuff. And it comes in the two parts and you like mix them together. So normally I just have like a piece of scrap paper or something to mix it on. And either um, a toothpick is fine, or what do you call it? Like a little, um, I keep thinking the word clothespin and that's not it. <laughs> paper clip, <laughs> paper clip. Uh. Basically something you can throw away and that has a little tiny end. Because another way that you can go wrong is just to add too much glue. This is not one of those things where we're gonna like, you know what I mean, like a bunch in there. This is gonna be finesse, tiny little dots and we'll set immediately, okay? So now that you've all heard my long dissertation, we've got this in here, it's on double stick tape, we've got the rest of it covered with the blue tape, it's at the right height, you know what I mean? Like everything's ready, we've got our setting tools right here. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll mix up the glue and we're gonna put it in there and we're gonna set. This is really a gorgeous stone. The whole piece is 
And you know when you're using these two part glues, you want to have an equal amount of both. So the easiest way to make sure is not to just squirt one on top of the other, it's to put a dot of one and then a dot of the other right next to it. And if that's equal, great, mix them up. If not, you can add to whichever one, you know what I mean, until you have an even amount. Because you won't get a good hold if you don't have an even amount of glue. Okay, so like you see how it looks like there's a little more of this, so I can go and add to the other side. It's a fun activity for those of us who are OCD. Like you don't have to go insane, but you, you do need to try to make sure they're pretty similar. Like that to me, that looks good. Toothpick, mix, mix, mix. And it's clear, so you don't really see the color difference. But the thing of it is, the more that you mix it, I mean, not to the point where you let it dry, um, the stronger the hold is. It creates heat, you know what I mean? That's really what gives you your bond. So make sure you don't just kind of go boop, boop, and then use it because you won't get as good of a bond. Okay, that should be good. So I'm gonna use the end of the toothpick. And I'm going to put a little dot of it on the side of the bezel in just like a couple spots. One on either side. So you're not even going all the way down. You're oh no, definitely not. On the side, right above that wire. So okay. that when the stone goes in there, you know you've got contact with it. And that's just gonna help hold it in place. And then I think I'll put a dot on the bottom. So this is minimal. Too much glue, it'll ooze out everywhere and make a horrifying mess. Don't let it happen to you. See what I mean? Like that, three spots, perfect. Stick the stone in. Now, if you get a little too crazy with the glue and you add a little too much, just wipe it off immediately. If you wipe it off when it's still, you know, kind of soft, no big deal. You know what I mean? Damp paper towel goes away. If you don't notice it until the end, there's nothing to do but use some kind of solvent to get rid of it and have to like reset the whole thing. So you don't want to do that. Now, since this is a pear-shaped stone, I'm starting at the at the point. I would give have given you more of a dissertation about how to use this, but time is of the essence for this. One of the things I'm doing too is I'm moving the extra space away from the point. I might also use the straight setter to get in right next to that point. Let's try that. There we go. So you're still working just the point and not. Yeah, I'm like, around. you like sweep the extra away, basically, because whenever you have a stone with a point, if you get a lot of extra space in there, it, it's very hard to get rid of. So basically, I'm like brushing it down and away. And, you know, I mean, I'm more or less using my normal setting technique, but it's an opal. you got to be a little careful. You know, you can't go to uh, berserker. I said, I'm sorry, but I'm trying to move a little bit fast, which is why I did most of my explanation first. I'm just getting this extra stuff down here up against the glue. Ooh, this is such a pretty opal. You can see why you picked it out. So normally I would just go a little slower, if you know what I mean, but I'm just trying to sort of get in there and, and get it done. I just saw a little tiny bit of glue come up, so that's all it takes is a little bit of a damp paper towel, no big deal. It just sucks if you don't pay attention and then at the end you're like, oh shit, <laughs> got glue. <laughs> it's definitely boogie. So next time we're gonna make our bezel a little more tight fitting. It's totally fine, but 
basically each time we do a project, it's kind of like try to raise the bar. You know what I mean? That's what I try to do in my own work is like, you know, next time a little bit better. Because you see how this thing still wants to wiggle, right? That's, that's why we're using the glue. So you just put the glue on the sides and not really the tip at the top? I didn't do it at the top because I figured it would just squirt out. There's okay. very little room there. So I did here and here and yeah. at the bottom. you know as always basically the tighter the bezel the faster it is to set you know it's not the end of the world but it's just easier okay so what I want you to do is just do the last little finesse bits there's a little more here and there but like you can see it's you know 85% set okay Thank go to you. and then we will reconvene so look at that so you see the opal's in there, it's nice and tight, no wiggling. And basically we don't have to worry now. Do you know what I mean? Like it looks good, but it has that little extra oomph from the glue to make sure nothing's gonna happen to it, okay? Okay, so.